Okay, looks like we need a controller because the the check relationship status cannot just sit right here. So we're just gonna create a controller that is going to receive all the AJAX requests from our view components and it's gonna manage all that. Okay, so let's go ahead to our terminal and what we're gonna do is just create a controller. PHP Arisan make controller and the name of this controller is just gonna be friends or friendship friendships controller. Okay, controller created successfully. So our controller has been created in our app, HTTP controllers, friendships controller right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is actually factor this out from our web.php. So we'll receive this route. So to check the relationship status. So right here, we're gonna have this route and it's not gonna receive a closure. It's gonna receive an array and it uses the friendships controller and the check method and then we use it as check okay so right in that method in the friendships controller we'll create a method so we'll call public function check method and this method is receiving of course an id so we need to check the relationship status of the authenticated user and the user whose profile that you that authenticated user is actually viewing so right here in our check function what we're going to have is actually just a list of checks and we're going to check the relationship status using the methods in our friendable thread so first of all we're going to check if they're friends so if the authenticated user is friends with the user of id id what we're just going to do is return an array and this array is just going to be status friends. Okay. So actually Laravel already tends already converts all of the returns to uh, responses. So we don't really have to think about that right now. Okay. So we're just going to return status of friends. Okay. So that's if the authenticated user is friends with this user ID and this is friends with method. Remember it's coming out from our friendable thread, and the uh, right here the is friends with method returns a one. So if it's friends with it's going to return a one. So we can actually just go and make sure we check that. So if it returns a one, so if the authenticated user is friends with this user, it's going to return a one. And if that's true, return a status of friends. Okay. So right here, let me just use my auth facet. The next thing we want to check is if, if there is a pending request from any of them. Okay. So we can say if the authenticated user has pending friend request from and uh, I think this is the name of the method we have right there. So if has pending friend request from. So if the authenticated user has a pending friend request from the user with ID ID, then return return status pending. Okay. So if the authenticated user has a pending request from this user, so it means maybe this user already sent this user a friend request, then we're just going to return a status of pending, a status of pending. Okay. So we'll do this again. And uh, what we'll do is if the authenticated user has pending request sent to, so this is the method we are using. So has pending friend request sent to. So has pending friend request sent to. So if the authenticated user has a pending friend request sent to, it means if this authenticated user who is viewing this user's profile already sent a friend request and he's waiting for an answer. So what we're going to do is actually send a status of waiting. Okay. This can actually be anything, the status you send. Okay. What is, what matters is how we are going to check this in our view. Okay. So if they are not friends and there is no pending request, means we can actually go and return a status saying they are not friends. Okay. So we're just going to say return, return status of zero. Okay. So I'll just go and put that as such. Okay. So if the authenticated user is friends with this user, it would return status of friends. If there has pending requests from, it will return status of pending. If there has pending requests sent to, it will return status of waiting. And uh, if there is nothing in relation with this user, so you just return a status of zero. Okay. So let's go ahead and see that work. So inspect. So right now in my database, we are not friends with Emily. So I don't know her and she doesn't know me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and refresh. So this is 
my profile and I'm viewing Emily's profile and it returned a status of zero, meaning we don't have any relationship with each other. Okay, so if we inspect right here and uh, this is Emily's profile and she's viewing my profile, if I refresh, that's the response and uh, the status is zero, meaning we're not friends and nothing. So that controller seems to be working. In the next video, we're actually going to use that information that we're re receiving. So the status that we're receiving in our front end.